How are you feeling now, both of you? Brilliant. Yeah, Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> but the main thing is just relax. Uh, if you want to say anything to each other, you want to tell her how fantastic she looks now that you've just seen them or dress before we start. <laughs> <laughs> I've spent 11 years paying for the fact that I didn't turn around and I'm reminded every year of the wedding. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. On behalf of Rob and Emma, I'd like to welcome everyone here today to Open Castle to share with them in their wedding ceremony. Through their vows, they will be making a commitment to each other, and through your presence here, you're expressing your support for them. My name is Wilson Weir, and I'm a civil celebrant appointed by the Registrar General for Scotland as a person authorised to solemnise civil marriages in accordance with the provisions of the Marriage Scotland Act of 1977. Now, for Rob and Emma, getting married today is a confirmation of the love, respect, and friendship that they have for each other. They've chosen to affirm the relationship in this formal and public pledge and to offer each other the security that comes from legally binding vows sincerely made and faithfully kept. Before I proceed with this civil marriage ceremony, you should both identify yourself by answering the following questions. Are you Bobby Andrew Martin? I am. And are you Emma Sheila Marie Flack? I am. We're now gathered here in order that I may solemnise your marriage. In the presence of your two witnesses and in accordance with the law of Scotland, and I confirm the requirements of that law preliminary to your marriage have been satisfied. Now, before you, Bobby, and you, Emma, are joined in marriage, it's my duty to remind you of the binding character of the vows you're about to make. Marriage, according to the law of this country, is a union of two people voluntary entered into for life and to the exclusion of all others. I now require that you make a declaration accepting each other as husband and wife. <laughs> now, Rob, can you take Emma's right hand and your right hand, please? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right, yeah. There's nobody else that has a trouble with that. <laughs> it's, uh, it's all right, Auntie. This is my third wedding today, and it's the third wedding where we'll be looking at each other, asking the same question. <laughs> it's nerves. Now, Rob, I'd like you to repeat after me. Yeah. I'm Bobby Andrew Martin. I, Bobby Andrew Martin. Solemnly and sincerely declare. Solemnly and sincerely declare. That I know. That I know. No legal impediment. No legal impediment. To my marrying Emma Sheila Marie Flack. To my marrying Emma Sheila Marie Flack. And now... Emma, it's your turn. I, Emma Sheila Marie Flack. I, Emma Sheila Marie Flack. Solemnly and sincerely declare. Solemnly and sincerely declare. That I know. That I know. Of no legal impediment. Of no legal impediment. To my marrying. To my marrying. Bobby Andrew Martin. Bobby Andrew Martin. Now, when you get married here in Scotland, we don't believe that you're making the vows to me to the video, to the camera. <laughs> You're actually making them to each other. So what I'd like you to do is turn and face each other and join each other with both hands. And again, we're going to start with you, Rob. I, Rob, accept you, Emma. I, Rob, accept you, Emma. As my lawful wedded wife. As my lawful wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. To the exclusion of all others. To the exclusion of all others. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. And now, Emma, it's your turn. I, Emma, accept you, Rob. I, Emma, accept you, Rob. As my lawful wedded husband. As my lawful wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer for poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. Sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. To the exclusion of all others. To the exclusion of all others. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Now, I believe the best man <laughs> has Rob's ring. I do. Go ahead. 
Now, you're now going to exchange rings, this being the traditional way of sealing the vows you have just made. The wedding ring is an unbroken circle, symbolising unending and everlasting love, and is the outward sign of the lifelong promises you have just made to each other. Now, Rob, could you take Emma's ring and place it in the third finger of her left hand for me, please? And while you're doing it, I'd like you to repeat after me. I, Rob, give you this ring. I, Rob, give you this ring. As a seal of our marriage. As a seal of our marriage. Let its constant embrace. Let its constant embrace. Be the symbol of my love for you. The symbol of my love for you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. Cherish and respect you. Cherish and respect you. And to be faithful. And to be faithful. And loyal to you today and always. And loyal to you today and always. And now, is it good for another? <laughs> ring. Thank you. Now, Emma, if you could take that ring and place it in the third finger of Rob's left hand for me. And again, I'll get you to repeat after me. I am, I give you this ring. I am, I give you this ring. As a symbol of our marriage. Of a symbol of our marriage. It is my promise. It is my promise. That I will love you always. I will love you always. I will be there for you. I will be there for you. In good times and bad. In good times and bad. And will support you in everything you do. And will support you in everything you do. And I will be faithful to you. I will be faithful to you. For so long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Rob and Emma. You have today made the declarations which are prescribed by law and a solemn and binding contract with each other. May you always love, honour and cherish one another. May nothing ever part you and may you live full and rich lives together. And now by virtue of the declarations made by you both in my presence and in the presence of your witnesses, it's my privilege and pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. Many congratulations. <laughs>
To love.